All right, unfortunately, I missed Agoraphobic Squirrel, so I wanted to say hi to her. And uh, I thought I did a great job putting away all my Halloween directions. I was wrong. That's my ghoul friend back there, so I got to put her away. All right, stay tuned for a fun episode of Comment Call. Thank you guys for everything. Good day, everybody. Ma Terry here, and boy, it is time for Comment Call. I want to thank everybody who answered the poll this week. Thank you for letting me know which uh, direction we're heading in. And also, thank you for your comments. You guys have kept me strong. You know, I was in the emergency room, and uh, just reading your loving, warm comments really kept me going. Anyhow, enough about me. I just can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you for all these wonderful comments. So let's begin with Lee, L-I. Uh, and uh, sorry, senior man in a van. Boy, did I blow your name. But let's talk about Lee and his my boyfriend. Uh, road life is about being open to possibilities. I'm with you, Terry. Keep on rolling. Everyone has their own time doing things. That's true. Terry, you are a youngster. Shucks. I'm a few years ahead of you. Hee <laughs> hee. See you down the road. Lee, I cannot wait to see you down the road. All right. And from Kathy over at Spirit Wind View, uh, it's how I stay really warm in my van by creating a sleeping chamber fort. Remember when we were kids and we'd build forts in our bedroom? That's the same type of thing that I'm talking about that I do in my van. And it keeps me really, really warm. All right, from Kathy, excellent instructional video for the beginner or great reminder for the seasoned, seasoned nomad. This is wonderful. Thanks, Terry. Continued prayers for your complete recovery in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and I'm going to take all your prayers. Oh, my gosh. It, it's it's just so yucky. It is, but we're doing everything. They gave me really good uh antibiotics. So uh, we're working it. We're working it. We're cleaning the wound. We're doing everything that we should be doing. So, yay. Heather Trek. Um, okay, it was about my uh, poll, and uh, uh, she is A, full-time, except currently C, in a stick and brick recovering from catar cataract surgery. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I pray that your recovery is very, very quick. I've been with people that have had their cataract surgery, and I'm so happy that you're getting it. It's, uh, it's going to be a good thing. And from Leilani's Journey, uh, how I stay really warm. Thanks, Terry, for the useful information. Leilani will be camping with us soon, so I can't wait. And I pray every day that she gets closer and closer to her goal. And from my good friend, Andrea Smith. Your drapes and quilts make a great way to stay warm. Having your bed raised will definitely help keep you warm. Thanks for the video. You are so welcome. All right. And from my uh, uh, Glita, who I met at the RTR, uh, and it's how I stay warm. Terry, can you please be more specific of where to purchase the heat shield you mentioned in your video? I need one for my 95 Chevy G20. Get it ready for getting it ready for RTR. I'm so glad you're going to be there again, Glita. All right, I'm going to stop the video and put it in right here. And that's what comment call is all about. If you guys have questions, uh, write me. Uh, I know someone. I, I don't have all the answers, but I can always direct you to uh, who might know the answer. Go frugal. Wow, wow, what did you do the other day? Well, I went to the casino yesterday. $700. Yep, my winning streak is over. Should have left when I had $25 of their money, but I kept trying for a hand pay. Never got one, just won at one. Oh, I'm so sorry you lost at the casino. That is one of the challenges with casino camping is uh, I do uh, believe in going in. You know, I only play like a nickel five lines of penny slot machine. Uh, I do hit the buffet really, really hard. Uh, but uh, yeah, the casino always wins in the end. All right. At New Tuber for Freedom, we're going to get back to you, but they wrote uh, great tips. Thank you. Uh, live in second childhood. Uh, staying warm is an art all by itself. Using rice as an orphan stock, sock stuffing is brilliant. Well, and I'm thinking multitasking. I mean, I've done other things as uh, sock stuffings, but you know what? Uh, we never know if there's going to be rice on the shelves, so we're traveling with our food and keeping us warm, right? All right. All right. A quick poll from uh, Marie over at RV Camper. A, uh, she does live full time in a nice RV. I saw that. And, uh, but she writes, I wish I could, would have started years ago. Don't we all, you know, 
we think that we're going to see the USA and we'll be done and bored in a year. There is so much to see in this uh, great United States. There really is. And, uh, you know, my opinion on the Mr. Buddy heater. And it's just my opinion. I just never uh, liked it. Uh, Valerie F. wrote, praying for a quick healing. This was a very helpful video. It looks like I might be on the road sooner than I thought. Was shooting for April, but it might be December. These short videos really helped me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Valerie, and thank you for writing in. I'm so happy. All right, let's see who else we got. NewTuber for Freedom. Uh, let's see, what does he write? I'm going to have to open the whole thing. Uh, so sorry for your step back. <laughs> your positivity is inspiring. You know what? I get down on the mat. You know, life gives me a one-two, and it's like, you know, it's not how many times you're down on that mat. You just got to get back up, right? And uh, B, part-timer looking to go full-time once I save for a safer vehicle. And I think that's very important. I like having a safer vehicle. I think all the time I can uh, move into something older, something bigger, but I'm not a mechanic and I trust mechanics, which is my downfall. So I will stay with what I have. All right, driving with Persephone. Terry, I'm sorry you're having to deal with a setback after surgery. Please take it easy so you can have fun in Arizona wise words. You know, I'm just so jealous because everybody's out there in quartzite right now and I want to go play with my friends, but I'm grounded. Rokan, and I hope I'm uh, pronouncing your name right. I think this is the first time uh, Rokan has commented and it's about a quick poll. See, for me, I'm about as city slick as they come in growing up. I didn't have many opportunities to go camping or fishing. I'd like to experience that more. Uh, yeah, you know what? I want to get out there and... Uh, I, I didn't fish a lot as a kid. I want to learn how to do that. All right. And we have from Jody Engelby, uh, who is hoping to make the RTR. I'm hoping you make it too, Jody. I really am. I want to meet everybody. And you'll know it's me because I have big wings on my back. No, I don't think anybody else is going to, uh, you know, wings are out of fashion for the winter, right? Connie Blair wrote, C, need to get health right. Uh, you're absolutely right. When you have your health, you have everything. All right, <laughs> Elizabeth Denny, you are supposed to be resting. I'm so bad, aren't I? I'm trying. I am so, I'm trying to rest. And I never gave you this option. Thank you, Donnell. Donnell Herrera. D, none of the above, really. I travel a lot for my husband's job, but we stay in motels. I just think it is interesting. Nothing wrong with staying in hotels. Um, you know, I like staying in hotels too. Uh, what do I call it? Luxury, luxury. All right. And from Vicki Blair, part-timers here. You know what? Um, as uh, me and boyfriend, uh, as we develop our friendship, I think I'm going to be a part-timer too. Um, you know, go out. Uh, I might change my vehicle. I don't know. Uh, I love camping. It's in my blood. He loves camping. But at the same time, sometimes it's nice to be home. So uh, we'll see what the future holds. Did I say uh, Grace Caldwell? Hi, I'm a bee. <laughs> you know, good, good. Thank you, Grace. All right. And uh, Dreamer. I, I love your uh, little icon there. Dreamer, I'm a part-timer going full-time in May. Yay, congratulations. Sometimes I leave my house and just go sit in my rig. Uh, I'm more comfortable there, LOL. No, I feel the same way. I am so comfortable in my van. It's like this big blanket that envelops me. I, I love it. Sorry about the setback. It's hard to sit still. Praying for a full recovery. You are so right. <laughs> All right. And yes, I do get admonished from my viewers from living second childhood. It is time to obey your doctors or pay the price. She's absolutely right. Get well quickly. At my last post-surgical visit, I said, forgive me, doc, for I have mostly behaved, for I have mostly behaved since you have had your way with my body. That is so funny. Ah, Kate, Kate Mitten. See, how do I get my glass door fixed on my shuttle bus? No glass makes it impossible to drive on the highway. I want to camp again. Again, Hurricane did it. I do not know. Uh, last time my glass got broken in the uh, van, I called the uh, glass people. I'm, I'm not mechanical at all. Uh, and from one of my favorites, Sandy Ago. I used to call him Sandy Ago just to uh, rib him, but... Uh, 
Uh, I'm a part-time camper and a full-time vamper. Really, very interesting. And from Lynn Probert, B, part-time, but as a Canadian, trailer put away for the cold season. And yeah, Canada gets really, really cold. I have to be around to be caregiver for elderly parents, so short trips only for now. I so get that. And you know what? Short trips are fun. We need to get out there in nature. We really do. Oh, I was making free earring wooden blanks for your trash stash and Glita wrote, you could use the scraps for kindling for a fire. Good video, Terry. Uh, that's absolutely correct. You can use it for kindling uh, for a fire, but uh, sometimes I use it for a poop bucket. Okay, too much, too much. And I hope I get her name right. Dia's Frugal Life. Hey, I live in my minivan full time. And you know what? I bet you you're happy. All right. And this was interesting. You know, when I do an arts and crafts video, uh, you guys, if you're doing arts and crafts video, go ahead, you you know, use what I teach you, but put your own spin on it. That's all fine. Um, oh, and I might as well tell you. All right. So when we did the last poll, A, B, or C, what kind of earrings? Everybody uh, voted B, but uh, C was close to it, and C was with the tinsel. So this weekend, we're going to make Christmas earrings. We're going to, and this, this will take you like two minutes to make. So tinsel, some uh, bigger earrings, some bigger hoops. And I got these at like, uh, what a bargain in Redlands. Uh, this whole thing costs like a dollar. So I think Dollar Tree used to have these or at 99 cent only, you know, like the big hoops. Th this will come together so fast. And this is not from the Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree has these little silver balls. So isn't this going to be a cute little Christmas earrings? So that's what we're going to do this weekend. And for a short, you know, usually uh, when I'm out there on BLM property, I don't dress so pretty. But when I get to uh, uh, Laughlin, Nevada, and I want to go out to dinner, I have a pretty little uh, outfit. Well, you put your pretty little outfit on here and things slip. So I'm going to show you how to make non-slip hangers easy breezy you know when you're traveling in your van and everything's going like this you don't want your clothes falling off so that's what we're going to do anyhow uh new beginnings with okay i'm sorry booty and cindy all right terry thank you for sharing i am so glad to see another rvr doing crafts our channel will also be hosting crafts one day a week month haven't decided yet, but we are revamping the channel. Now for those small circles. I am making charms and, of course, my card making. Our channel has been quiet for a year, but we are coming back in January with all sorts of things. Great. And if you're at the RTR, uh, we can do each other interviews, you know, talk about our channels. That'll be so fun. Sarah. Oh, she watched the disposing of urine properly, and I'm going to talk about that. So when we were at the RTR, WRTR, and if you haven't seen my disposing of urine properly, please watch. So we're at the uh, WRTR, and, you know, guys have their bottles. It's so easy for them, and I show you how to do it in a bag and how to get rid of the urine. Nothing was nastier at the WRTR than some woman uh, used the bag system and threw it in the trash. Now, uh, Quartzite, they're a little backwards there. So someone has to go and take the trash out of the can and put it into another can. That was nasty. So if you follow along of how to dispose of urine properly, we won't have that problem. And uh, Sarah says, that's a good idea, even if you're not living in a van with some uh, public roast restrooms are nasty. Some restrooms are very, very nasty. All right. Let's see who else we got. Tejas, I miss you, Tejas. Uh, he wrote a couple of days ago, and of course I slaughter his name. Tejas Nick Popcar awesome on the cool schoolie. You know, I wish I could go up and interview people, but I do envision my life. Maybe I'll have a schoolie someday, you know, that would be pretty good. And Diane Capra, Diane and Nick, hi. Uh, C, please. Okay, so she voted for C, so we're going to do C. I mean, Diane said it, so we're doing it. I, I love Diane. She is such a sweetheart. And from short and sweet, uh, five minute veteran day earrings. These are so cute and look really easy to make. Thanks for sharing. Take care. Oh my gosh, they are so simple to make. All right, I'm going through. Oh, Go Frugal. I am so glad. Go Frugal writes me all the time. I just love it. And did I say hi to Cuddles and Daisy? 
Um, today I choose happiness. Oh man, I was in a bad mood. Petals and Daisy, you were able to get the surgery and that is a lot to give thanks for. It really is. Uh, my uh, sister asked me, you know, if, you know, we're the type of people, don't tell me about the surgery. I don't want to know what you're cutting out, moving or anything. Don't tell me uh, because if they told me they'd scare me and I'd never be in. And my sister was like, well, how did you rectify in your brain? And I said, you know, I've had back pain for 30 years and it's like, I don't want to look forward to another 30 years of back pain. I'd rather be in uh, really good pain for the next month or so and uh, be done with it, right? I thank you, Cuddles and Daisy, for your comment. And Sue Fox, I know exactly what you mean, Terry. I'm almost 62 and I've been thinking that I don't have many too good years left. Uh, the point is, make every minute count make every day count i'm supposed to be over there in bed rest uh my friend left for a little while so i snuck over here to uh, do a video and sherry seahoff uh easy peasy sequin earrings thank you for another great video sherry thank you so much all right, I think I caught up with everybody's comments. If you have a, a question on anything crafting, camping, or anything, I may not know the answers. A lot of times I don't, but I will be able to do, point you in the right directions. All right, I hope you have a wonderful Friday, and remember, I will see you down the road. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Please write your comments below. Uh, share. You know the drill, right? All right, bye.